The test mark protect swim test, or green band test, is used to determine the swimming ability of children ages 13 years old and younger. It consists of five steps that need to be performed in conjunction with each other. A feet first entry, a freestyle swim half the length of the pool, a 10 second back float, a swim back to the starting end of the pool, and a 30 second tread. All of these steps need to be performed with comfort and ease by the individual in order to pass the green band test. All swimmers 13 years old and under are required to pass this swim test before being allowed in a wide pool without a U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket or without direct adult supervision. This is a green band test performed from start to finish. The back float and the tread can be performed in the middle or at the end depending on the depth of your pool. Proper entry is a simple feet first jump that goes into the first half of the swim. The participant should fully submerge and resurface without touching the floor of the pool. An improper entry is one that pushes off the bottom or the wall, a slide in entry, a dive, or a jump from an elevated position. The swim test can be administered by a certified lifeguard or another trained YMCA employee. If a child is able to swim the complete test, but not in a strong manner, they will be praised but will not receive a pass until the lifeguard feels that they are comfortable swimming in water over their head. The back float is 10 seconds that starts when the child remains still on the surface. Belly up and head back is the best way to float. Use your best judgment in determining what a passing or failing back float is, as not every body type can float perfectly. The swim to and from the center of the pool should be a freestyle or front crawl stroke. No doggy paddle is allowed. Easy and clean movements with little splashing are a definite pass. The face should be in the water with rotary breathing to each side as they move down the pool. Using the floor, the wall, or lane lines for support designates a failing green band test. The final piece of the test is a 30 second tread. The individual should be in an upright position with their head above the water surface. An improper tread involves bobbing below the surface, laying the ears in the water, or any kind of horizontal movement or spinning in place. If our participant struggles with a portion of the test, give them advice on how to improve and encourage them to try again next time. If they complete all these steps with ease, document it properly and congratulate them on a job well done.